Hey friends, welcome to Redstone Rebuilds. This is a brand new video series that I'm starting where I will recreate old command block creations or data pack creations or just Redstone creations in general and update their commands specifically to be compatible with Minecraft 1.17. In today's episode, I'm going to be updating a command block creation that was originally made for 1.12. It was made by Code Zealot, and it was supposed to put players in spectator mode when they die, similar to Team Fortress 2. It still works in 1.12, but the old commands that he wrote will no longer work in 1.17, which is why I'm here today to help you out. All right, let's get started. I have went ahead and recreated all of the command blocks according to his video. And I also added the 1.12 commands into these command blocks as well. What we're going to do today is I'm going to help you out by editing these commands to be compatible with the 1.17, excuse me, 1.17 command format that Minecraft now uses. I'm also going to run you through uh, a little bit of the basics. If you want a more detailed explanation, please go check out Code Zealot's video. Link to, it, link to it is in the description below. All right, before we begin, we're going to need to create three scoreboards. Scoreboard. So we're going to type in scoreboard, objectives, add, respawn ticks, and the criteria is going to be dummy. Next, we're going to type in scoreboard, objectives, add, respawn time, and a criteria of dummy. Lastly, we're going to type in scoreboard objectives add deaths with the criteria of death count. And there we go. That's all these scoreboards that we're going to need for this command block creation. Let's start in the first column. So we're going to increment the fake player's score by one every tick. That's what this repeating command block is for. And because Code Zealot's old command is actually well written, um, and still nothing about it changed as of 1.17, the command itself is highlighted correctly, and so we know that it is going to work to run well. So all we need to do is hit done, and there's the command for that, and there we go. Next, we're going to test if the fake player score is 20, because 20 ticks is equal to one second. So we open this command block, and we already see that there's a problem here. Scoreboard player's test no longer exists. So what we're going to do is we're going to delete test, and we're going to write execute if, and we're going to delete board, score, respawn ticks, respawn ticks matches 20. So what, oh, and by the way, all the ch command, the chain command blocks, they need to be set to conditional. So make sure you do that. So the command for this command block is going to be execute if, which is basically the same as test for, just test for no longer exists. So we're checking, so we're executing this command if the score of our fake player on the score objective, respawn ticks, same name, matches 20. Done. Next command block, we're going to set the fake player score to zero, which will restart the count. And this command, as we can see, it needs to be set to conditional, but um, this command is perfect, so we don't have to edit it. And issue, um, not an issue, a thing that we could do actually, instead of this, is reset respawn ticks, respawn ticks. So scoreboard players reset, respawn ticks, respawn ticks. But why we don't want to do that and why we want to do simply set respawn ticks, respawn ticks zero is because if we reset the score for any player, not just for a fake player, it will remove that player's score from the scoreboard entirely, making it undetectable. Now we want it to be detectable, so what we're going to do is simply do the same thing just assigning a numerical value to it, zero, and that's the same as doing reset. It just makes it detectable. 
Next, for the last block in this column, we're going to remove one second from dead player's respawn time. Now this command is a little more broken than the rest, but that's okay. So the scoreboard players remove at all players with the tag of ghost, and here's the broken part. This format changed completely. So we're gonna change this to scores equals squiggly bracket open, respawn time equals one dot dot squiggly bracket close. What this two dot dots means is that is that is a minimum of one. If you did it dot dot one, that is a maximum of one. If you do one dot dot one or one dot dot two, it can either be one, two, or any number in between. It works better if it's three. But what we want is simply a minimum of one. And scoreboard objective is the same. Respawn time. And we're checking. We're adding. Nope, we're removing it, my bad, from one. So every time uh, this runs, it's going to remove one from this score. Also, we want to make sure this is set to conditional. Next, we move on to this column. We're going to tag all players who die as ghosts. And this one is also very broken, so bear with me. We're going to execute as. So we're adding an as in there at all players, so we're going to change the score format again, scores, nope, equals squiggly brackets, deaths equals a minimum of one squiggly. We're going to delete these tildes, which used to represent the relative position to the player, but now we no longer need that. In modern terms, we could do at, at s, which is ourself. Um, but we don't need this. I'll tell you why in a moment. What we do want to write, though, is run, because we're running this command as the players who have a minimum death of one, run scoreboard players tag. So we're going to delete this and replace it with the new command for tagging, which is simply tag. And we're going to replace at P with at S. The reason we're doing this is because what Code Zealot did was he was targeting the nearest player to the player's relative position, which would obviously target only that player. But that's been replaced, and that's been replaced by at s, which will automatically target whoever is running this command. And since we're executing as these people, it's already getting their position, and we don't need to do that workaround anymore. And we want to make sure they do not have the tag of ghost, so we add the exclamation mark here, and then we add ghost. We're going to set this command block to conditional, and we're going to be on our way. Wait, actually, no, never mind. Unconditional for all the repeating command blocks. Then we're going to move up here, reset deaths for players tagged as ghosts. This one is also quite broken. Follow along, execute as, at all players, with a minimum score objective of one on deaths, score objective deaths, my bad, said that a little weird. Um, there we go. We're going to delete the tildes and replace it with run scoreboard players set. That is fine. That's what we wanted to do. And then we replace the at P with at S and we set their deaths to zero. Now we hit conditional because it's a chain command block. Next, we're going to set goes to spectator mode. Execute as, add all players with the tag of ghost, three tildes, delete, replace with run. And here's another change in the command format as a 1.17. Game modes are no longer defined by their numerical value. So zero, one, two, and three do not work. Instead, we have to type out the full uh, name of the game mode. We're gonna switch this to at s, the at p, and we're gonna leave the uh, break fix tag so it tags everyone without break fix so if you are an operator and you get stuck in the loop and you're in creative mode and you don't want to be stuck in the loop you don't want to be stuck in spectator mode simply add break fix to yourself and get out of spectator mode we're going to set this to conditional and we're going to keep going next start respawn countdown for ghosts again it's a little broken so let's 
uh, let's work here. Execute as at all players with the tag of ghost. Mode does not equal three. Game mode equals spectator is what we're going to write. Actually, what's what's wrong here? Something wrong here? We're going to delete the tildes and write run. Yeah, something is something's wrong here. Oh, I misspelled it. Whoops. There we go. All right. Run. Scoreboard players tag. Okay, so we're going to remove that and write simply tag. And we're going to put at s in replace of at p. And then we're going to set the command block to conditional. Next, we're going to go up here, start countdown from 10 seconds. Execute as at all players with the tag of start timer, which we just set in that previous command block. We're going to delete the tildes, type in run, Scoreboard player set, that's fine. We're going to switch the P to an S, and then we're going to delete this underscore here because we don't have that in our um, other scoreboard. Uh, it's preference, it was part of the uh, 1.12 command format, but no longer in 1.17. Also, this is 10, we could set it to 30 if you want 30 seconds, could set it to 60, but for now we're gonna keep it to 10 seconds. And we're going to set this command block to conditional. And lastly, for this column, we're going to, now that the timer has started, remove start timer tag from ghost. So we're going to um, fix this command. Sorry. So here we go. Execute as at all players with the tag of start timer. We're going to delete the tildes. Type in run. Scoreboard players tag. So we see that. We're going to delete that and write tag. We're going to tag at s, remove start timer, and set this command block to conditional. All right, two columns down, one to go. So now, at the repeating command block, when the countdown reaches zero, we're going to set ghost back to survival mode. So let's do that. Execute as, at all players, tag equals ghost. Game mode, oops, game mode equals Nope, it's, yeah, spectator. And then score, respawn time, needs to be zero. So we're going to delete this. Scores, squiggly, respawn time equals zero. There we go. We're going to delete this. Run, game mode, spe nope, survival. Now that's because that was game mode zero. So we want them to be in game mode survival. And switch the at P to at S. Switch this to conditional. There we go. Oh, wait, nope, nope, again, sorry. All repeating command blocks must be unconditional. Whoopsie. Too many, too many. All right, next, the chain command block to teleport goes to the respawn point. So we type in, oh, nope, not there. Execute as, at all players with the tag of ghost. Game mode is equal to survival. Now we're checking if they're in survival. And we're going to type in run in place of the squid, the tildes. And then we're going to teleport such a player to tp at s to our specified block. So I, I've already put in my coordinates. You put in whatever coordinates you have. Um, and this is a chain, so it's going to be conditional. And the facing, so this is the rotation where they're going to face. We want them to be facing towards positive x, which is 0, which is also south. And we want them to be facing about the horizon, so that so zero is going to be the second number you put there. And lastly, we're going to remove the ghost tag now that players are in survival mode and have been teleported. So let's do that. Execute as at all players with the tag of ghost, game mode, survival. So then we delete the tildes, type in run, scoreboard players tag so we remove this tag at s remove ghost and set this to conditional beautiful all right so now i'm going to demonstrate just how this works oh whoa let me turn that off real quick there we go Command block output false. That's what you want to do if you see all of that. See, there it goes. Next, we're going to turn this one on. And lastly, we're going to go turn this one on. Wonderful. 
All right, and before I do this, I'm actually going to scoreboard. I'm going to do this, set display, and you can do this too if you want. Sidebar, respawn time. Yep. Set display, slot sidebar to show respawn time. Perfect. All right. It doesn't show just yet, but when I do slash kill and kill myself, in the right, you can see it. And now I'm in spectator mode for the next 10 seconds. And after that, once I'm living again, I get put back to where, to the block that I specified at the rotation that I specified. Wonderful. Alrighty guys, that's all I have for you today. Feel free to drop a like, leave a comment, uh, questions, concerns, anything. If you run into any problems, do let me know. And yeah, go check out Code Zealot's original video, link to it in the description below. And I hope you guys have a very blessed day. See you.